Hey you guys, namaste, this is me Diara and this is a love reading. It's about your person, your love interest, your crush, your ex. I don't know, but I hope you know. <laughs> and I want you right now to simply choose one pile. Um, I will lay out three cards. They will tell us something about your person. Just go with your intuition, listen to your gut. Do you feel drawn to pile number one, pile number two, or is it pile number three for you today? Timestamps will be as usual down in the description box. If you wanna subscribe, please feel free to subscribe. If you wanna share a comment, feel free to share a comment. If you ever wanna donate something, if you wanna tip me, feel free to do so. You will find information how to reach out to me down in the box. Okay, so let's get started. Pile number one. Pile number one. Who are we talking about? Who is it? Who's your person? Your person is being represented by the card Three of Cups in Reverse. So regardless of the fact that the card is coming out in reverse, which may or may not mean something, um, just as a characteristic about your person, this is someone who likes to laugh. This is someone who is pretty optimistic most of the times, a positive person, someone, and I don't want to lie here, um, who likes to party. Let's say it how it is. Because Three of Cups is all about celebration, right? It's about joy and laughter and um, being in a good mood. So I feel this is a very sunny person, you know, like someone um, who loves summer, who loves to be in nature and who also, um, and I think this is pretty um, important, not in terms of your relationship, but just for you in order to see whether or not this is your person, this person, they love people. They must have people around them. This is not a lonely cowboy. This is not a hermit, not at all. You can identify this person because they are always surrounded by others, okay? And the flip side would maybe be that they cannot live without anyone. Like if they are alone, they feel lonely. They feel offended. You know, like they they may feel as if something's wrong with them. Okay, that is maybe the flip side to this characteristic and personality type of people because they always must have others around them. They love team sport. Um, they love to connect, they love to network, you know what I'm trying to say here? So let's have a look um, into how are they feeling right now in this current moment, the moment that you find this reading, it's a timeless reading as usual, how do they feel? What's going on in your person's life right now? Mm-hmm. It could be that this person is married, by the way, I must mention this. Um, and it could be that this person is right now trying to make a fair decision. Justice, Ten of Coins and King of Swords, two cards in reverse, one upright. Um, they are right now, I feel, trying to make a fair decision right now. I mean, who knows? Maybe you guys have been in a three-party situation. And now your person is slowly but surely understanding that this can't last forever. You know, you cannot keep up with such a situation forever. You can for a while, for sure. And some people, they live in such a situation like for years and years and years. Um, but I feel your person is actually trying to make a decision because it's swords. It's all about being clear, talking up, you know, like being straight. And it's all about discernment. 
The situation has to do with that someone felt as if they have not been wanted, you see? And again, I don't know, but I feel most of you guys are dealing with a three-party situation, even if it's not about love, even if it's not about romance. I mean, you can have a three-party situation in a job-related field as well, right? Maybe your person is pretty popular and wanted. Maybe they can choose whom to work with and or not. And maybe they skipped you and they choose someone else for you, so to say. Um, and that is the problem here. And this is why you're here, because you want to see whether or not there's still a chance for you guys to get together again one day. Um, they want to be fair, though. This is what I can let you know, okay? They, they want to be fair. They want to be honest. They want to make a, a true and a fair statement and decision. Um, but they feel trapped. They feel somehow trapped, as if they have not yet figured out how to speak up and how to make this decision. They know that they must, but they have still no clue. Maybe not no clue, but they are still figuring it all out. You know, like they are right in this situation, and this can last for a while, like weeks, maybe months, trying to figure out, okay, what would be the best course of action here? This is, I, I feel your person is at this place right now, trying to figure out what is the best course of action in order to make a true and a fair and an honest and um, justified yeah, statement, solution, however. So let's talk about you in specific here. How do they feel for you? This is the question of the question, right? What do they think about you? What are their intentions? Maybe feelings, maybe emotions. Let's just see what we get. Your person in terms of you. They see you as a very strong person. Again, a lot of reversals. I feel this is a pretty twisted situation, but this is something that you may know already yourself. Um, reversals in tarot, usually we see them as obstacles and delays and diversions. Um, sometimes I feel when a card is popping out in reverse that this card is telling me something about the, the past. But I, I always go with my gut feeling when it comes to these kind of stuff. But what I can let you know with the Queen of, Star um, the Queen of Wands, you may be a fire sign, first of all. It's wands, it's fire. You are very passionate. You are fiery. Um, you know, like you have, you are driven. You are a goal getter and you may have turned out to be a little bit stronger than they thought you would be. Okay. Maybe you kind of surprised this person. Nevertheless, girls and also, you know, gentlemen, whoever is watching and listening, I want to be honest, okay? Do I see big, big, fat feelings? No. I, I have to be honest. Sorry, but I'm, I'm not sugarcoating. I don't feel it makes any sense. It may sound good in the first place, the moment that you are listening, but a couple of days later, you will find out the truth anyways, okay? So... Uh, maybe not days later, but at the end of the story. So I don't see they have big, fat, romantic feelings. They appreciate you, okay? They respect you. If you guys work together, they know that they could always trust you. Um, they see you as a strong, mature woman and all the good stuff, you know? This sounds beautiful. It sounds like, yeah, but so why aren't they in love with me? Well, that's the mystery of love. That is the mystery of love. We don't fall for everybody. There are so many beautiful people out there, talented, friendly, loving, you know, um, big hearted and whatnot, but still you don't fall for everyone, right? It is, it's a mystery. You can't explain. And yes, I see that they may have been tempted once by you and your, your aura, 
But this is a person, this is a very free-spirited person. I don't feel that they are ready yet to commit to the fullest. I, I want to be honest with you, okay? Mm, let's just see. Let's see. Is there anything in terms of romance and love? No, you see the deception card. Maybe you have been deceived by them or maybe you kind of lied to yourself by thinking that there could be something or there is something. Um, and I feel that you've waited for them for a while. Like deep down inside, you hoped that it would turn out to the best. But the thing is, this person is, yeah, guys, sorry, but the unrequited love, healing, family issues. I feel this person is married. I said that before, if not married, but still engaged and entangled in something else, not available, maybe emotionally not available or in whatsoever other way not available and you guys have been deceived by their aura they have been tempted by you and you have been tempted by them and you kind of created a story around it but it's not no it's it's not this is not the truth sorry and it's not worth waiting um this person yes they respect you you may have surprised this person, you know, being stronger than they thought you would be. But still, um, I don't see love. I don't see romance here. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry. Nevertheless, what else do you need to know about pair number one and the future potential? What does spirit wants you to know about the potential of the future? You will be happy, okay? You will be happy and you will fall in love again, girls. Girls, boys, ladies, gentlemen. I never say girls, I never say boys. I don't know why I do today, but well. Um, There could be a reconciliation, I feel. Okay. Um, but first and foremost, also in regards of the other cards that came out with the unrequited love and the deception and all that stuff, um, I feel there is someone else waiting for you, but you may not be ready now to um, understand and to accept Maybe you you still <laughs> you choose to stay in this situation for for a while longer, which is okay. Never put yourself under pressure, right? Um, do what feels good to you. Listen to your gut feeling. Take everything with a grain of salt. So I think it's pretty personal and individual. Some of you who are watching, I see reconciliation, and I even maybe see still some hope at the horizon but for the majority of you guys i would rather say forget about this person focus on yourself you know and um don't wait definitely don't wait for them okay i i just wonder do i have uh i'm just looking for another deck if i find it if not it's not meant to be. Here it is. The future, pile number one. The future of you, you two. Mm, yeah, so reconciliation, yes. But this relationship will always be difficult and let's say different, okay? Um, the, you will always discuss the things discuss excuse me not disgust as in disgusting but you know like there will always be a lot of fight potential like yeah you said this and no but you said that before and I want this and you always knew how I am so why are you complaining right now and da 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 
so I think there is a lot of in and out, hot and cold. You see, one day you reconcile, the other day you fight again. So the thing is to understand, this is what Spirit is telling you. It's not always about to be understood, especially not by this person, because this person will maybe never understand you completely, but it's about to understand why are you in love with such a person? Why are you in a love triangle? Why are you waiting for someone who's obviously not treating you in the right way, right? These are the questions that you may want to ask yourself and that you should understand before you truly can let go of the situation. Um, I see that you are still um, attached to them. You are orbiting them via the social media, checking them out. Is he online? Is she posting stuff and so on and so far? You may want to tame yourself a little bit here um, in order to not freak out and to, to you know like get crazy and all over the place so yeah this is a 50 50 as you can see it's it's yeah reconciliation is in the field but if you expect the situation to ever turn into something mature committed into marriage and into something that makes you completely happy, you know, like with no strings attached at all, and it's just all good. This is something that you cannot, that you better not expect from this um, connection, okay? So I think I leave it here um, and I will move on to pile number two. Pile number two. Pile number two, who are we talking about? Who is your person? Let's check it out. Two of thoughts. Maybe an air sign, maybe Gemini. Someone who is pretty good when it comes to communication. But right now, this person is hmm, not really knowing which way to go. Your person is right now at a place and in a situation where they must make a decision. They have to find a solution for a certain problem, which may or may not have to do with you, by the way. I'm just trying to read this person in general here, first of all. Um, and this is why th where they are. They are um, also a little bit like, you know, um, how you say that in English? If you are not truly yourself, if you feel like you are in a hurry, if you feel like there's a lot of pressure on your shoulders, this is how I see this person right now, currently. Let's tune in. Why is your person feeling like that right now? You know, a little bit unstable, but not really unstable. It's, it's, it's like, you know... Do you know days when you wake up and you feel like everything is too much and you don't know where to start or where to stop and, you know, nothing makes sense? This is how I see this person right now. Trying to find a solution. It's about a woman. It's about the queen of wands. And <laughs> I don't know whether it's, it's a coincidence that we saw this woman before in pile number one. So there may be some cross watchers. And I know why. I know that if you have chosen pile number one first, <laughs> you are not satisfied with the answer. And this is why you may uh, wanted to have a quick look into pile number two and you hope for a better, more optimistic answer. Well, this is your thing. But um, the truth is, yes, it's about a woman. Your person is um, a little bit head over heels right now and it has to do with a woman. Queen of Wands, a fiery woman, a passionate woman, a woman who is very wise, clear, strong, mature, um, a woman who knows what she wants. And this is why your person feels the way they feel right now. It's a pity that I do not get the word. Maybe later, I don't know. Yeah. Mm, they must have been something, something big. Divorce, maybe, a major breakup, but 
a, a breakup that came along with a lot of pain and tears and sleepless nights and maybe also pretty unexpected for one party maybe for both of you maybe you know like one day both of you have been like posting on instagram how happy you are and whatnot and then the other day boom everything broke down yeah let's see how do they feel for you pile number two how do they feel for you what are your person's current intentions when it comes to you what do we need to know how do they feel for you and the whole situation yeah the tower you see there there must have been a major fight all of the sudden no one expected it and then pff, drama mm -hmm. they have feelings this this is i feel they have feelings and they want to pursue you again but this person is a slow moving energy they are coming in slow motion knight of wands uh, knight of coins excuse me they are coming in slow motion but they are already thinking about it as i told you they are already thinking about what to do how to do and when to do it and for these three decisions, this person needs time. I feel up to a month, maybe from now on, at least a month. They are thinking about the future and, and what to offer you. Um, but right now they feel a little trapped. They don't really feel as if this would be already the right and the best timing. Yeah, and so this person is also very, very cautious and guarded, generally, but also in this situation. Um, yeah, they, they simply have to find the right way, the right words, the right time, but the chemistry is there, and they know it. The chemistry is there, the attraction is there. There's something special going on between you guys, and they know it, they feel it. And yes, they want to show you their... Well, I mean, maybe it's too soon or too much to speak about love here, literal love, but they want to show you that they still have an eye on you, so to say, but the card came out in reverse. So again, I, I, I just don't think that it's the right timing. And this is actually what this person feels, that it's somehow not yet the right timing or um, for whatever else reason, they're simply not there yet, you know? They're like, yeah, I want to do, but not today. Maybe, I mean, it's there's a lot going on right now. Maybe your person, and I told you guys that I have been COVID positive, like for two weeks straight. I was, I am recovering now. I'm, I'm negative now. So all is good, more or less. I still feel a little bit tired and not really on top of my game. And who knows? I mean, you know, life is complex. It's not that you wake up in the morning and then 24 hours you think about one single thing, right? I mean, you may have people to take care for, you may have a job full time, you have your friends, you have your hobbies, maybe you have your own intimate issues, as I said. Maybe you feel not so good right now and you have to go visit a doctor or maybe, you know, you have to take care for your parents and so on and so far. Maybe your brother is turning 30 next week and you have to plan the party. So, you know, like cut this person some slack. I mean, um, don't be too harsh. Yes, they may be slow, but hey, they have their own life to live, okay? <laughs> so it's not that, as I said, you wake up in the morning and then like all day, every day, you think about this one thing, which is <laughs> you, okay? They think about you. Yes, they do. They do think about you, yes. But they have other things to deal with as well. What I also can tell you is that you or this person felt deceited. Um, maybe this person promised you something and at the end they couldn't really 
deliver, okay, um, expectations have been destroyed, have been um, disappointed, so to say. This is what I see. And this led to this heartbreaking moment. And I can definitely see it here. As I told you, we have the tower and before we saw the Ten of Swords. So they must have been something major, you know, a very unexpected turn of events. And this is what you're still dealing with. You are dealing with it and they are dealing with it too. Okay, so now let's have a, um, a look into the future. Let's have a look into the future. What to expect within the next couple of weeks? What to expect from this person in terms of your situation? What is the potential? What's the outcome? Pile number two. I see communication and I see reconciliation for sure here in this case. It's not going to be easy. And <laughs> the thing is, the funny thing, I don't know, I have to laugh. When you guys talk again first, you know, like let's just say one day is the day and they will call you or text you or they will maybe send someone else out instead for them and they will kind of arrange something like, hey, you guys, you should, you know, like have a coffee together and then yeah let's just say you have this coffee together finally and i see both of you kind of fighting for your ground does it make sense do you know what i'm trying to say so no one will first of all give in easily and yeah because i think both of you you've done things that you may regret now and it's not going to be so easy for both of you not only your person but also you to commit and to to um you know um to admit that yeah i may have not acted in the optimal way like you know looking at the situation from here i must admit that i may not have said the right words <laughs> you know what i'm trying to say here but the thing is i mean this is just a quick side note and it makes me smile i mean it will it will make you guys smile as well um but, but i see the communication and i see that this is happening for sure okay the karma cross is telling me that it's going to happen for sure okay i cannot tell you when um you know, the date and the hour, <laughs> but it will happen. It's meant to happen. Your path will cross again one day, sooner or later, that's for sure. And I see that you will find ways um, how... Oh, whoa, 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 true love. I mean, wow, this is big. So yeah, for some of you, this will probably turn into true love. What should I say? I mean, the world is a good card. The world is about true love. It's about commitment. It's about to finally arrive where you, you know, like there is this quote by Rumi, the place where you are right now, God circled that spot on a map for you. I love it. The place where you are right now, God circled that spot on a map for you, knowing that you were coming. And this is what the world is all about to me. This is one of the best cards. It comes out very, very rarely, almost never. I mean, like in all these years that I'm hosting this channel here, I can count maybe like on one hand how often I've seen the world card coming out. And it's not that I'm trying to promise you miracles here, guys, okay? Don't get me wrong. We have to be realistic. We have to take everything with a grain of salt. If you are asking for someone that you haven't seen for seven years and you know that they are happily married and the wife of this person is about to uh, deliver the second baby and all is perfect in this person's life, then... It would be a little bit strange to tell you that secretly they only love you, okay? Um, and also, I mean, even if, 
it's not making it any better because still they are married to another woman, right? Um, but I feel in your case, pile number two, do we see reconciliation? Do we see still the potential that this can grow and turn into something positive? Yes, we do. You guys have not yet discovered everything within the other party and you guys will get to know each other deeper and deeper in the future okay still you may think you know already everything about them and stuff but this is not the case most definitely not okay so i leave it here this is it Part number two, thank you so much. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will now move on to pile number three. Pile number three. Who are we talking about? Let's read your person. Who is this person? The hangman in reverse. I don't know whether the number 12 is playing a role. Maybe it's been 12 days or 12 weeks that you've you've been talking to each other um, or maybe you met at a, the 12th of a month or maybe you know each other for 12 years or maybe December is playing a certain role in your story. Um, this is the first thing I'm getting so I'm saying it. Mm, and then this person is pretty chilled and relaxed. This is a thinker, you know, someone who thinks about stuff, someone who is into philosophy, I feel. This is maybe not someone who loves sport, um, playing football and soccer and whatnot. This is someone who loves to read, who loves to hike, who loves to just sit and have a beautiful conversation. This is what I feel. This person may have been shifted out of their comfort zone in the past lately. They are currently at a place where they don't really feel at home, meaning they do not really feel comfortable where they are right now. It, this could be um, grounded um, in the certain you know, situation that we are all globally a lot going on in the world so maybe this is causing a little bit you know disruption in the within this person um and making them think even more than they do already yeah this is what i would say about this person this is what i'm catching up so now let's see um how does your person feel for you let's talk about you and them because this is why we're here right Let's talk about you and them. What do we need to know? How do they feel for you? Do we see any intentions, love-wise? Let's see. Mm -hmm. I would say they think about you. Yes, they do, definitely. I think you guys are having a little break right now. There's a pause. There is a separation. Um, and But they do think about you. I don't know whether you know it or whether they show it to you. Um, but they think about you and they see you as the Queen of Cups. A very intuitive, uh, emotional woman. Very sensual. Very spiritual as well. I mean, it's cups, right? It's feelings. You are an empath. And this is how they definitely see you. They watch you from afar, I can tell you, okay? Um, and they are thinking about you. you. We have the hermit here and we have the two of wands. They are thinking about what to do right now. And this is why there's this silence because this person rather, and I mean, hey, it's the hangman, okay? So it's no surprise when I tell you that this person rather does nothing than something and later they regret. So they think about what they want to do a lot before they do it. And I don't know why, but sometimes I feel this is better than 
the other way around. I mean, if you are dealing with someone who is talking first, but thinking later, you never know where you will end up with this person, right? Because one day they say, I love you. And then the other day they may regret it. Here, it's exactly the, the opposite, okay? This person may love you, but they tell it to you probably sometimes even too late, you know, like when it's too late already because you've been waiting for this I love you forever and yeah, since you never heard it, you choose to go. I don't know. But anyways, yes, they think about you, pile number three. They do think about you. What else? About you and this person what do we need to know yeah you guys may have had a fight and now it's about forgiving and learning and and it's about who's making the first step maybe children are involved maybe this person has children maybe you guys acted a little bit childish I don't know yeah and here it is this is the separation there's no contact right now but I feel you will have the conversation again. I don't know why we see the let go of your ex. I mean, maybe this person must let go of an ex. Maybe you must let go of this person before you guys can come together again. And that's the weird stuff, right? But I mean, Hollywood, if you've ever seen a Hollywood movie, you know the story, right? There's this guy and this girl and they are in love. And then one day, the guy is doing something crazy. Most of the times it's the guy, by the way. Isn't it interesting? And then they separate, okay? And first of all, she suffers and she feels like shit and she cannot imagine to ever fall in love again with someone else and da-da-da. And maybe eventually she wants to move into another town, another city, like moving from LA to New York. And exactly at this moment, you know, like when the taxi driver is waiting downstairs for her to, to come and to bring her to the airport, this is when this guy appears again, telling her that he loves you and that he is so sorry for everything that he did, you know? And this is, why am I telling you that? Because first, you must let go before, um, this is the card. First, you must let go, let go of your ex, clear your energy before this guy is returning. This is just how it is. Don't ask me why. I'm ha I have not written this script. I have not made up these rules. But somehow, you know, this is how it is, isn't it? Um, so... Do your thing, okay? Do your thing, pile number three. Focus on yourself. Create a beautiful life. Surround yourself with good people. Maybe you even want to date. Maybe you even want to start dating. You know, go to the movies, have a good night. I mean, you don't have to sleep with people, um, but you can have a good time, right? Like, just have a coffee, just have a laugh, just have, you know, like a nice conversation with someone else because this way your energy is being cleansed. You are receiving an emotional setup at this moment. You know, like the moment that you decide to live your life with or without this person, your energy is being cleansed and leveled up. And this is what this person is feeling and this is making them return before they will not return okay um, I mean of course it's up to you what you do right it's your life it's your situation it's your person but this is kind of the story that I'm feeling I see that they have been a fight I see that they are somehow regretting it um, and that they are definitely thinking about you so let's talk about the future then Let's talk about the future and what do we see coming within the next couple of weeks between you and this person. What's the incoming energies? A oh, lot of cards. Yeah, but I see the sun will shine again. Yes. Spirit is giving us the book, which is their way <laughs> to to tell us that they will not reveal everything to us today you know like they will leave some you know like there's a little bit of secret a mystery 
and I, I like it. We don't need to know everything. We may want to know everything, but uh, we don't need to. And we're not supposed to neither, by the way. But with the sun and the house and the love card here, the heart, together with the moon, which is again about mystery and secrets, um, because it represents the night, the darkness, it represents not knowing and also being a little bit scared about the darkness and the not knowing. Um, but still, spirit is telling you that it's always darkest before known, noon. And even if you don't know, and even if you feel as if you are trapped in this darkness and in this not knowing, please continue to focus on the light and the good stuff, okay? Focus on the sun, because the sun is shining and there's always a silver lining. Um, so I see reconciliation, I see you um, getting back into your strength, which is beautiful. I love it that this card is popping out. I really must tell you. And to you, and I haven't done it for the other piles, but to you, I, I since you appear here, um, I would love to get one more oracle card, which is a kind of a little guidance or yeah, just something else for you to know. Loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade and then you'll be able to see clearly how important the situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. Yeah. So this is your guidance, your final guidance. This is your Oracle card. Um, I think I leave it here. This was a beautiful message. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. Peace out and namaste.